The Eastern Bay, just below Ken Island, hits the jackpot. 18 million juvenile oysters are pushed into the water in one day. We're going to use a historic reef to build it back up through this uh, program. That program partners DNR with Oyster Recovery Partnership and Shore Rivers. Ellie Bassett is the Miles Y River Keeper for Shore Rivers. They brought it out on a boat, the Robert E. Lee, this giant barge. They brought it out to Eastern Bay. And what they do is they take pretty much a, a fire hose you know, a fireman use, and they blow it off on the side. So they planted 18 million oysters. And they hosted a floating watch party. People on their boats and in their kayaks watch a live restoration project. It was chosen in actually a legislative uh, process by uh, input from watermen and industry and environmentalists and the department to focus on Eastern Bay. DNR has committed to fund the initial 70 million oysters. Shore Rivers and Oyster Recovery Partnership want to raise it to 100 million oysters by the end of 2023. So Shore Rivers has raised about half of the $75,000 to meet that goal. Once they hit the water, what happens? The ideal oyster reef is a pyramid, right? Oysters like to grow on top of each other and they create this 3D structure, which creates really good habitat for other critters in the Chesapeake Bay. So what we're planting is spat on shell. So it's individual shells that have a bunch of baby oysters called spat on it. They'll blow those shells over the side on a on certain coordinates in an effort to kind of create this mound. And then as those spat grow, the idea is that they'll produce their own baby spat and eventually we'll have this 3D reef right under where they planted uh, from that boat. Like Ellie Bassett says, it's tough to clean up the water, so oysters do the task. They're eating as they're filtering. So they're taking al algae out of the water, they're taking nitrogen out of the water, which is all benefits for us who enjoy clearer and cleaner water. She is seeing improved water quality. In the 10 years that I've been at Shore Rivers, I have never seen as much underwater grass as I have this year. And that is a really good sign of water quality. But the oysters are expected to kick up that quality. This is a direct hands-on project that is gonna immediately result in improved water quality. This was the second planting. The first one put 19 million oysters in the Eastern Bay in mid-July. You can look out for the announcement of another watch party as Shore Rivers is coming up with plans to host one again this summer. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.